My name is Danielle and this is Laura. We are occupational therapy students at Temple University. We are presenting you with a new innovative perspective on the use of a simple carabiner. A carabiner is a simple metal loop with a spring-loaded gate, typically used in climbing, sailing, or rope intensive activities. However, there are several other ways to use a carabiner as a low-tech assistive device for individuals with or without disabilities. Its structure innately provides a cylindrical grasp, which is classified as a power grip. This may be easier for some individuals to manipulate, especially those with arthritis, limited fine motor skills, and those who pre present with weakened strength in the upper extremity. The carabiner may be used to enhance an individual's performance in instrumental activities of daily living, or IADLs, such as pet care, shopping, and home management. Occupational engagement in these activities is vital and may play an important role in an individual's life. Have you ever gone to the grocery store only to return home with way more than just two bags? Well, using a carabiner, you can act like you have five hands. All you have to do is clip in the bag handles to the carabiner and watch out. You can carry all those bags in one trip. Here, I'll show you. Laura, that did make carrying groceries a lot easier. Just be careful not to put too much weight in one hand. Another way to use the carabiner would be to attach keys to it. If you are forgetful and misplace your keys often, or have a hard time finding your keys in your bag, this may be really helpful for you. All you have to do is attach the key rings to the carabiner. And then loop it onto your bag or your belt loop or any place where it is easy for you to find. Remember, these carabiners come in all colors and sizes, so you can choose one that best fits your style. I never knew a carabiner was so useful when you weren't hiking or climbing. Using one of these really saves time, keeps you organized, and just overall makes life a little easier. If someone has decreased strength or is unable to use one of the upper extremities, he or she can use the carabiner for carrying a larger quantity of groceries, organizing their keys, or walking a dog by attaching the leash to the carabiner and the carabiner to a belt loop. It is very easy to set up with one hand. Furthermore, it even enhances energy conservation while eliminating several trips to and from the car to the house with grocery bags. And having a carabiner as a keychain could help people with memory impairments keep their keys nice and organized so that it's easier to keep track of. You got it! Overall, the carabiner will assist an able-bodied person as well as a person with a disability. It supports the theory of universal design in that it is simple and intuitive, equitable, requires low physical effort, is small and compact, and has a tolerance for error. You can't go wrong while using the carabiner for everyday activities.